All right, joining us now is Chad Beckler from the Peach Truck. I am so excited. I have been craving peaches, and here you are. This is great. <laughs> you bet. So and we're definitely everywhere. You are. And so, all right, that's what I want to start with is people see, say, advertisements for the Peach Truck on social media, and they think, is this real? And how does it work? Can you start with the logistics of, you know, how you deliver these fresh peaches and, and who can have access to them? Sure, yeah, our, our peaches are essentially fresh. So what we do is we pick them from the peach orchards in the down south. Mm -hmm. um, we have them delivered within three to five business days. So essentially we are getting the freshest peach you can poss possibly find. Um, it's an amazing peach. What we do is we essentially set up stops throughout the different area. Um, and it's one of those things, we have a two hour stop and our tours will go throughout the whole summer. Mm -hmm. um, those peaches, are going to be the most delicious thing you're going to find when you bite into them after you condition them for a couple days. They're going to be juicy and they're going to go everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I want to know um, specifically, like what, can you pick the kind of peach? Because there's so many varieties. What stage of ripeness? Are they all the same stage of ripeness when you get, say, a box of a dozen or like, how does that work in terms of what are you really getting? Sure. So our, our peaches right now, we've started with our clingstone peaches just because we're waiting for the freestones to essentially get to the point where they're good to go. Mm -hmm. um, with that being said, these are all tree ripe peaches. So right now they're more of a hard consistency. So when you get them, you want to lay them flat on a counter, let them sit for about a day or so, kind of give them a smell and give them a little feel to see, you know, once they get that little squish, then they're amazing to eat. Mm -hmm. Now you have um, in uh, behind you, I should say, this cookbook that I have been looking through and I dog-eared like 20 different pages on here because there's it's really quite a versatile fruit. Um, what in this cookbook do you guys love and really show, how do you show people how to best use your peaches through this? You know, it's a crazy thing because everybody's got a story about how they use these peaches. Initially, I thought it was just essentially, you know, like more people just eating it, but everybody's got a story. And so the cookbook is something that we've used and everybody, including this cookbook, has like all kinds of different variations. Um, like there's a cornbread recipe in there that's amazing that we've tried. Um, I did some pork chops this week that were fantastic. Um, the cocktail recipes that are in there are amazing. Um, but there's just a lot of variety of different dishes you can get in that cookbook mm -hmm. that I had no idea that you could even make with a peach. Sure. You know what else I appreciated about what was in here was how to, um, because if you, how to preserve them and how to freeze them and then use them. So you have, when you lock in these super fresh peaches, how you can enjoy them beyond the, you know, the week that you get them. You know, what, what is it, what's in this book that really helps people maybe say, all right, I'm not going to get just one, you know, one small box or one small crate or however, I'm going to go crazy because I can use this. Yeah. And it's one of those things I've heard a lot of different stories about freezing. So with the freezing or canning are two different options that we see a lot, but with freezing, there's a recipe in that cookbook that essentially all I got to do is peel the peaches, cut them into slices. Um, you mix them a little bit with lemon juice. So that way they don't brown. Um, at that point, you're going to throw a little bit of sugar in there just to keep them so they're really, really sweet. And then make sure you put them in a vacuum sealed bag and you can freeze them and pull them out for shakes, desserts, anything you want to do throughout the rest of the year. Wonderful. You mentioned the cocktails because there were quite a few cocktail recipes in that book. And I loved that because I thought when they get super ripe, you can kind of blend them up and put them in a dessert or a drink or something like that. So there's there's uses for different phases of, of ripeness with these peaches for sure. Yeah. Um, what is the what, what kind of opportunities do people have to order and access your peaches? Is it one time? you know, per summer or is it throughout the summer? How can people get a hold of your peach tree peaches? Yeah, so with the peach truck, we uh, we have our website. So if you go to thepeachtruck.com, it's pretty simple. You just type in your zip code and it shows you all of our location stops. So this year we're actually branching out to the market and we're doing 59 stops. So we're actually trying to partner with a bunch of the smaller businesses to kind of help drive their business too. Um, I've got some stops with Habitat for Humanities. I've got some stops with the Humane Society, um, some different fun, different places that will go and you can pick up the peaches there. Mm -hmm. um, it's great because they're all throughout the summer. So we have a rotation where a lot of these stops will probably stop by five or six times throughout the summer. So that way, if you want to order multiple case packs, you can do that for a June, July or August. Um, and you can have your peaches dedicated throughout the whole summer. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not able to make a stop, we have a home delivery option where you can purchase a box of 13 peaches. Um, those are our prime peaches. Those peaches essentially get picked and packed the same day. 
wow. and they get in these carton containers and they are essentially shipped to your door within three to five days. So they're super fresh and they're the best ones you can find. Mm -hmm. I, I love that, there, that you can do it more than once throughout the summer too. So you might get a different variety and you might not be able to like, sometimes you want to order a bunch of fruit and you're like, where the heck am I gonna put all this stuff? So yeah. um, you can enjoy it throughout. Tell everybody um, where they can go to check out um, and kind of shop around to, to plot out where um, where and when they would order and where they would pick it up. Yeah, so thepeachtruck.com. It's as simple as that. All you gotta do is put in your zip code um, and they'll bring up the five closest locations to you. And those locations, it gives you the dates and times of our stops that we can go to. Um, if for some reason you can't make one stop, there's a bunch of other options that we have that you can pick throughout the area. Wonderful. And I love that these are fresh. They're coming to you days after they've been picked. They're not being shipped uh, you know, across the country or across the world from somewhere else. They really are locking in the, the, all the nutrients that are involved in that too. You get to them sooner when you get those peaches sooner. Uh, Chad Beckler with the Peach Truck, thank you so much for your time.